This is an All Ears English podcast episode 1843, How to Bury the Hatchet in English. Welcome to the All Ears English podcast, downloaded more than 200 million times. Are you feeling stuck with your English? We'll show you how to become fearless and fluent by focusing on connection, not perfection. With your American hosts, Lindsay McMahon, the English adventurer, and Michelle Kaplan, the New York radio girl, coming to you from Colorado and New York City, USA. To get real-time transcripts right on your phone and create your personalized vocabulary list, try the All Ears English app for iOS and Android. Start your seven-day free trial at allearsenglish.com forward slash app. What is your argument style? Today, learn six new vocabulary phrases to talk about making up after an argument. Learn how to be the bigger person when you get into a fight. Hey, Michelle, how's it going today? Hey, Lindsay, good, good. How are you? I am feeling great. I'm happy and grateful to be on the podcast. So everything is good. What are we getting into today, Michelle? Well, today we're talking about what to do after an argument with someone and like oh. those feelings and letting it go. I mean, Lindsay, when you kind of have a negative experience with someone, is mm -hmm. it easy for you to let things go? Do you try? Are you like often the one to try and fix things? Are you good at swallowing your pride? <laughs> I think it depends on how important the relationship is. But yeah, for sure. I, it, when I have an argument, I internalize a lot and it sticks around for me. Yeah. Um, sometimes with like a chip on my shoulder or with like um, anger, like below the surface, if I don't address it, or sometimes just I feel like I've done something wrong and I can't shake that feeling. Yeah. Like it feels really bad. I can't get rid of it. You know? Yeah. Oh, I know. I, I hate that feeling as well. Let, let, let's yes. do, what does that mean to swallow your pride? Ooh, swallow your pride is a great one. It just means you put your pride where it belongs, which is in a lower place <laughs> compared yeah. to the relationship, right? Because in the end, our pride is not as important as our relationships. Our pride is the, you know, we're proud, right? It comes from the word proud. Yeah, and to ego. swallow your pride, maybe you go up, maybe you apologize, your ego, you apologize, you say, hey, I was wrong. Right. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, Michelle? What's your argument style? I think I'm, I, I, I saw, and so many times when we, when we talk, I think we're so similar. Like, so we are similar, yeah. <laughs> uh, we are similar. Like, I feel like we do both really internalize mm -hmm. things and we, we, like, I feel mm -hmm. like both of us, we just like, we want things to be yeah. fine like we want yeah. like we don't, it's like it's like very discomfort some people I think are yes. okay with that discomfort of like oh something isn't mm -hmm. right with somebody like for me right. I have a very hard time if there's an issue it it, it mm. weighs on me <laughs> totally weighs on you. Yes, I'm the same way. Exactly. I'd like people to be I don't want anyone to be upset with me. Yeah. I don't want to feel like I'm not doing the right thing. Yeah. But do I like that expression too that I've heard a lot lately to do right by someone. Do you know that expression? Mm, right. It's basically like doing the right the right thing. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. This is so good. Oh, today we're going to come out with lots of good expressions. And honestly, Michelle, a topic today that everyone needs, right? All of our listeners, you know, if you guys live in English, if you express yourselves in English, eventually there's going to be some kind of argument. We're human beings, right? So we're going to get into this today. But first, Michelle, I want to read some of the names are of our awesome reviewers from our Android app. Michelle, we've had this Android app out for about a year and we wow. have tons of listeners. Aren't you excited that finally we have the Android version of the Allers English app? I can't believe that it's already been about a year because <laughs> I feel like, you know, for so long we had people asking about it and it was like, I know. you know, just like up net, then it was just a baby and now we're like we're watching it grow. It's growing and, up. <laughs> yeah, it's growing up. So it's a year. Wow. It's amazing. Guys, I want to say a special thank you to a couple of people that reviewed us in Google Play. So thank you to Keiko. Thank you to El Hadra, Omar El Hadra, um, Mohamed Reza, Kermani, Swapnil Saminder, uh, N.A., Marcos V.S., and Zakin Balbino. These are just a few of the many, many students who are using the Android app to get the transcripts and get the keywords, and they have reviewed us in Google Play. So guys, go over and do the same, and we will try to announce your name on the show if we see your review. Right, Michelle? 
Absolutely. Thank you so much. We love it. It's so meaningful yes. to us. We love it. We love hearing from you guys and, and you having you let us know what you think of the show. So leave us your review. Absolutely. So, Lindsay, what about this expression? We were talking about swallowing your pride, but there's another expression, to be the mm -hmm. bigger person. Ooh, I love that. What I mean, <laughs> does that mean physically you're taller or larger no, in some way? No, no, <laughs> no, no, it's not about your physical size. I know I could never be the bigger physical person. I'm I'm a small person. Me too. <laughs> I'm only five foot four and I'm small, so I'll never be the physically the bigger person, but I do like to take that road, right? Take the high road. Maybe we'll do that one too oh my later. Gosh, we'll there's see. so many. <laughs> uh, there are actually so many. And I wonder how much of this is cultural too, actually. Uh -huh. Sometimes I think about, you know, what are the narratives that we grew up in, the, the stories that we read in terms of what is the right thing to do in life, right? Like right. honesty. I don't know how much of that is cultural valued in our mm -hmm. culture or how much of that is our family, our parents' values that they pass on to us. It's a good question, actually. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, something to reflect on for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So yeah. So be the bigger person just means do the right thing. You know, maybe maybe you're in, in a in an argument with someone and that person is just getting dirty, right? The ego, they're throwing out insults and you're not going to do that. You're going to be the bigger person. You're not going to insult the person and take cheap shots, right? Cheap shots. You, yeah. Cheap shots. Oh my God, Michelle, the vocab is just pouring know, out of us really today. <laughs> Instead, you're going to apologize or you're going to get down to the real issue. Right. right, right, right. Exactly. So it's kind of like that idea of swallowing your pride. So mm -hmm. now we're going to teach some expressions that are about like making, making up. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so perfect. Getting done with the argument. So what's the first one, Lindsay? Okay. Patch things up. So imagine, I mean, do you do any sewing, Michelle, yourself? Uh -huh. Do you sew? Uh, no, not my, no, not, I don't. But, um, when I was, <laughs> when I was a, a little younger, I did like my grandmother loved to sew and I actually uh -huh. remember, um, sewing with her and like learning and because you know what I, sorry, now I'm like getting into it, but now I, I remember <laughs> there was, um, a school project where we had to be an apprentice. Um, Ooh, and cool. yeah, we had to like learn something from somebody. So I was for my grandmother and she, it, it was oh. a so so we decided to do sewing and I still like I remember she taught me how to make like a sew a pillow it was like with two felt pieces of felt and like very simple yeah. stuff and like a little bag um with an m on it and um I still <laughs> I still remember what those things look like so it's kind of a good Aww. memory but no I haven't I, I should t I should try sewing or something like that for my grandma <laughs> oh, that's such a nice memory you had with your yeah. grandmother. That's yeah. so cool. It's really nice to have those. I bet a lot of our listeners have memories, you know, with their grandparents too. And it's things that we treasure. Oh. It's a special relationship, right? With your grandparents. Yeah. I watch my parents with my with my niece and it's so cute because I mean, she can be a little crazy sometimes, but they don't need to discipline her the way her parents do, right? And it's so <laughs> nice. Like they get to be the grandparents. What a great deal. <laughs> yes. My my mom always says, Oh, it's much easier. It's much easier to be. Yeah. Yeah. grandparent <laughs> <laughs> for sure um, for sure so yeah so patch things up is about right it comes from this idea of selling but we're not talking about taking a needle and thread right michelle right, right. yeah i mean I, I i would assume it comes from sewing yeah this idea Probably. of like you know how you put patches in jeans or patches of oh, like, yeah it's like connecting like the you know there's a hole and you're kind of you're you're making it better so you mm -hmm. know it, it's this idea of oh there's a there's an argument and you're doing something to to make it better to fix it to to yeah sew it all yeah. up so you could I say something that. like uh so this is i mean a great phrasal verb uh mm -hmm. right this is a phrasal Ooh, verb patch up, patch yeah this up. is a phrasal verb you're right it is Ooh, a phrasal the phrasal verb. verbs strike back they come back again guys they're always here <laughs> so, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you could say let's patch things up and we usually do say patch things up like that um, mm, so yeah. in that little chunk. So let's patch things up. I don't want to fight anymore. Awesome. I'm actually interviewing someone later today who, by the way, will be on the show much before this episode comes out, um, mm -hmm. more like in March sometime. But he is he specializes in phrasal verbs. Oh, so that's going to be kind of fun to talk with Alex Bricker is his name. He'll be on the show and we're going to go deep into some phrasal verbs. Yeah. Fun. Excellent. <laughs> love it. Love yeah. it. Love it. Yep. All right. Um, so the next one, Michelle, what is it? So this one is a very, uh, you're not going to use this with everybody. No. But, uh, <laughs> it's kiss and makeup. Or you could just mm -hmm. say makeup, you know? 
Yeah. When I when I hear the word make up, like let's make up, I think of little kids. Like I think of yeah. my seven year old arguments with my friends, especially girls. Like, oh, we've been fighting for a week. Let's make up. Like you walk yeah. over to the friend's house, like, <laughs> I want to make up, right? It's such a it's a little <laughs> bit juvenile. <laughs> right, right. No, I, I I definitely see that. And then when you say kiss and make up, it's kinda cute. That's another yeah. It's a like cute sounding, but it's like good for couples or sometimes people might say it to kids, like, oh, kiss and make up or like you know to siblings or uh, yes family members yeah Mm -hmm. something like Mm -hmm. that yeah I could I think I'm pretty sure my my dad said this to my brother and I he doesn't actually expect you to kiss your sibling right Right. like oh no it's just like oh come on kids kiss and make up let's move on it's just an expression okay it's an expression exactly it doesn't necessarily have to involve an actual kiss (laughs) yeah for sure and here's a sample sentence all right you two now kiss and make up you make such a great relation. You have such a great relationship. Yeah. So I love how you said that. Couples, uh, siblings, kid friends, right? Things like that. A little juvenile. I would not use it at work no. with a colleague. Mm-hmm. That's the key. Right. That is that is the key. That would be a little <laughs> bit strange. Um, so so um, another one is to smooth things over. Hmm. Yep. I like this one. Smooth things over. So for example, I'm going to talk to him and smooth things over. I don't have the energy to fight. I'll be the bigger person. So here we're getting in bigger person. So that's fantastic. Um, when I think of smooth things over, I think of like smoothing peanut butter, like a peanut butter on a piece of bread or something. You're you always thinking about knife. peanut butter. I do think about peanut butter a lot. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it's usually from a spoon. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> Actually, this week, I just didn't buy the peanut butter. So I realized like maybe it is one of my big weaknesses. So sometimes I just don't buy the peanut butter. So then I can't eat the peanut butter when it's at home. You know what oh. I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, I've been eating a lot of peanut butter nowadays, actually. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> that's all right. All right, Michelle. And, and then what would be the next one? Uh, this one is bury the hatchet. Now this one. (laughs) Interesting. This one sounds so intense. I mean, what is, what is a hatchet? (laughs) I know. Oh my gosh. I guess this is a weapon. It's considered, I guess they're referring to like a weapon. Right, yeah. a hatchet is I a have kind to, like, of a look up a picture of a hatchet. Isn't it like I'm an gonna axe? look it up now too? Yeah, it's like an axe. Yep, it's an when I when I Google hatchet, I see kind of like a hand axe, something you hold in your hand, very yeah. similar to an axe. But I've never quite understood what this means. I guess this means someone hurt someone, metaphorically speaking, with a hatchet. Not literally. Please, we're not talking about taking a weapon. No, no, no. To someone, but metaphorically speaking, and now you want to take that weapon and get rid of it. So you're trying to get rid of what happened. Like you're trying to forget about what happened. Is that how you interpret that Michelle? right it's like you're bury. yeah the hatchet is almost like the symbol of the fight right of the it's fight like the, mm-hmm. the sharpness the you know the terrible thing and to bury it is to just say okay we're done exactly exactly yeah oh my gosh that makes me think of this new trend the last couple of years i've seen is axe throwing have you uh, have you been have you tried that or seen that anywhere axe throwing so yes i have been axe throwing but i was too scared to do it i stood i, oh. I like i like stood <laughs> you're a little laughing at me i i stood That's like so in the back and like i just like got i was just like i'm not doing it i can't do it like it just like, freaked me out too much have you been yeah, I've done it. Yeah, I've been a number of times out here really? um, for like birthday parties a few years and in Boston, too. It's fun, actually. It's a good workout for the abs because you have to get your whole body in it. Guys, this is a trend now. We have weird trends in the U.S., right? So it's kind of a, a, a party spot. You bring your friends Saturday evening. You buy a space for maybe uh, maybe six to eight friends or something like that. And everyone just takes turns throwing the axe into the bullseye. And you get points based on how close to the center you get the axe. Um, yeah. yeah, it's a trendy, fun thing to do. I mean, what's next? You're not next, scared right? when you throw it? No, I was at first, like the very first throw. And then you realize you learn how to hold it. And then you realize you have, you know, there are safety measures in place, right? Like you have to be standing in a certain place to throw it. Um and yeah, hopefully you won't like throw it backwards. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's my fear. I mean, if you've ever like, I mean, people have seen me do bowling and <laughs> ski ball and I'm always the one that oh. it goes in the other person's lane. <laughs> uh, maybe you shouldn't do axe throwing then, Michelle. Right. You should just uh, go I mean, and watch. I, I don't think I should be allowed. Like I would have to be in like a private room and the axe would have to like have like 
like like uh like be covered in marshmallows over the p- sharp oh, part like it's just like it, some sort of padding so it wouldn't even work i mean yeah. i just yeah it always the you know i i've been known to okay. uh yeah it's a ski ball it goes oh. in the other lane or okay good know. to know if Scary. i get invited to go axe rowing with you i will decline yeah good to you know. should decline or you should go hide somewhere but mostly <laughs> you should come because you'll see me like go into like absolute like nervous energy mode and be like i can't i can't I can't like and it's genuine I'm not putting on a show I'm really freaked (laughs) that's interesting I had that experience when I was at a shooting range like with with an actual with the NRA guys as part of the course the connected communicator for our students who are in that maybe they don't know that part after the interview at the gun show they took me to a or I they asked me if I wanted to join them at the shooting range or the gun practice range Mm -hmm. wherever people practice with the NRA and I went and I got the goggles on had the gun in my hand and I could I couldn't shoot it I just couldn't do it it. I was too afraid I was like it's gonna backfire it's gonna like something's gonna happen I just couldn't pull the trigger I couldn't do it. Wow. Um, and so it's fine. It's fine. Maybe I'm just a big wimp, but I just no. don't, I don't like what guns stand for. I don't like them in general. So I just, I just went home or I didn't I... go home. I just left. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I can understand that for sure. Um, should we do a role play? Yeah, let's do the role play, Michelle. We're talking about a lot of interesting things today. Let's get into the role play. Here we go. So here we got in a fight a few days ago about a misunderstanding. We misunderstood a time, I guess, yeah. a meeting time. Is yeah. that what? Yeah. So so yeah, here we're close friends, and we had a misunderstanding. Here we go. Um, so and maybe we had a little fight about it. So here we go. Hey, Lindsay. Right. Hey. Um, listen, I really want to smooth things over. I think things got out of hand the other day. Oh, thanks, Michelle. Yeah, okay. Let's bury the hatchet. Thanks for being the bigger person and coming to me. Of course. I wanted to make up. I had to patch things up before your big trip. Yeah, I feel better now. Thank you. Yeah. And yeah, I do think it's always almost always good to do this. You know, even honestly, especially as we get older, more mature, smarter in life, even if the other person has done the thing that's wrong, you know, it's good to develop the habit of coming to them and saying, hey, I'm sorry, you know, mistakes were made on both sides. Right. You know, most of the time, right? Not to hold that grudge because we hold that in our shoulders physically and it can hurt us. Yeah. Physically, it's not healthy mentally. Yeah. So it's good mm-hmm. that here we were patching things up. So, yeah, I said uh, I want to smooth things over, right? With mm-hmm. the peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All I can think of is peanut butter and a piece of bread now. Yep. Um, okay. And then I said, okay, let's bury the hatchet. Thanks for being the bigger person and coming to me. Mm-hmm. And then I said uh, I wanted to make up, right? So I didn't say kiss and make up. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah. But I said, mm-hmm. let's, uh, I had to patch things up before your big trip. Because yeah. maybe I was going somewhere and you wouldn't be able to talk to me for a few months. So you wanted to make sure to do that. Right. So, right. so guys, think today. I mean, we have to finish up today's episode. We got to get off the mic here. This has been a good one. But Michelle, what would you say is the takeaway? What should our listeners think about after this episode? Think about like your fighting style, like your argument Mm. style. And is it worth it to start thinking about these expressions, being the bigger person, smoothing things over, you know, um, what was the one about swallowing your pride? You know, is it time to reflect and think, well, could I be, you know, doing some of those things? Very good question. I love it. I'm going to go think about that now too. Good stuff. (laughs) And guys, make sure to get the All Ears English app, allearsenglish.com slash app, and it's out for Android and iOS. Go ahead and leave us a review when you get the app. All All right. right. Good stuff, Michelle. I'll talk to you very soon. All right. Bye, Lindsay. Bye. Thanks for listening to All Ears English. Would you like to know your English level? Take our two-minute quiz. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash fluency score. And if you believe in connection, not perfection, then hit subscribe now to make sure you don't miss anything. See you next time.